What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Woo-hoo! Welcome back. <laughs> wow, he was all excited. It was loud. I didn't mean to be that loud. <laughs> Thank you. He's been drinking green tea all day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Welcome back to another wonderful episode of the Intercode Podcast. I am the one and only Triple J, John Jefferson Jr. with... <gasps> hey, it's me. It's Ryan Welch. <laughs> How y'all doing? We're glad to have you back with us for another wonderful episode. How you feeling, buddy? Feeling good. Feeling good. Yeah? You look a little well rested. That's good. Well, yeah. I had like a big old nap today. You get those? Sometimes. What? Every once in a while, the kids play something and just keep themselves. And I'm like, okay. Crawling up on my uh, either the bed or the couch and just having a little snooze. You lucky son of a... I know. I know. I know. I do what I can. <laughs> I take every moment. Even if it's like 15 minutes, I don't care. I'll take I'll take a moment. <laughs> I'll take what we can get nowadays. That's right. That's right. Well, sorry we kind of got delayed and we didn't get you last week. Um, life happens, family matters, things like that. Had to get away for a bit and refocus. We all need that time to get away during all this craziness. Mm-hmm. But with two episodes the week before, I think it worked out. Oh yeah, you still love us, right? 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 <laughs> Please? <laughs> oh gosh, just say yes, baby. Come back. <laughs> So, a couple of topics we want to talk about. Um, just some news that's been going on. So, PlayStation announced a huge one. Yeah, they went ahead and they announced that they're... And, and the wording's kind of funky, but basically, <laughs> if you want to play a PlayStation 5 game, you got to use their new remote. So, your DualShock 4 is not going to cut it. And... It'll work on... I, I'm assuming there are going to be some PS4 games that you can play on PS5. Because then the DualShock will work for that. But, you know, the, the, the it's an age-old question. You know, how do you get the most money out of... Con- no, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's it's it, basically the, the new controller is supposed to do some interesting things with gameplay with new PS5 games. So... That's kind of a big topic right now with, uh, you know, it's kind of Sony proprietary. They really want you to buy their stuff and use the new hotness. And I do like how the new hotness looks. Of course. It's not bad. It's, yeah, the white and blue is pretty solid. I like it. But, you know, if you have a bunch of money, then you're in good shape, but if you don't got a lot of money, then you're kind of out of, out of luck. So I'm going to put mine on credit at work. Oh, gosh. I'll hopefully get a discount. That maybe. is a bad idea. A I mean, bad idea. it won't be such a painful band-aid to rip off. You just slowly <laughs> rip it. <laughs> Do you care? Do you care that they want that you can only use the, the new controller with the new games? Uh... I mean, I'm kind of bugged, but I don't remember being able to use, like, PS3 controllers with PS4, right? Um, not that I know of. Yeah, so I don't think they've ever had that integration Mm -mm. when they go to the new console. But it's like, I have all these fun controllers that I want to be able to carry over. I know. Once PS4 is obsolete, then what? Yeah, then, um... It's just in the collection? That's right. Kind of same thing with Xbox. Oh, wait! Nope! Xbox? You can use your old controller. Here we go! With the Xbox Series X. Oh, I'm just saying. Goodness. I'm just saying. You, you can do it. You were waiting to say that. They were waiting to say that. I don't know <laughs> if you saw, but on social media, they jumped maybe 30 minutes to an hour after the news articles went out about the new con- the PlayStation 5 controller. And they made sure to remind everybody that your Xbox controllers, all of them, will work on the Xbox Series X. So I'm going to end up buying both consoles eventually, huh? Oh, I don't know. (laughs) We'll we'll see. Remember, Xbox is very consumer friendly now. So you don't have to, you know, you could stick with your regular Xbox One for a while upgrade eventually when there's a good sale or even better when there's a like a special edition console that will look really really nice Uh Uh uh-huh stop it i'm already imagining Mm -mm. i'm just saying i'm just saying it kind of works out really good because you know maybe a new like a special edition will come out maybe i don't know six months after the launch so we have time to save some money and give me a halo edition Ooh. I wouldn't be surprised. There's a rumor. This is another story that, you know, happened during the week. But (laughs) just a rumor right now that Xbox will be having another broadcast in August sometime. 
So who knows if that's true or not, but if it is, I don't know, maybe they will show off some special edition consoles or something like that. I don't know. It's all up in the air. We have to wait very patiently to find out how much each of them are. But more importantly though, you know, just just understand if you're going to buy a Sony, then you need to have the correct peripheral and the correct headphones <laughs> and a bunch of other stuff. All about the money. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. Does it bug you at all? A little bit. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. But I get it. I've been... I mean, we've been kind of doing the same song and dance every time there's a new console. Yes. Yeah. This is, I think, the first year where, you know, you're used to it with both sides. But, you know, technically, Xbox is being a little more consumer friendly this time around. So, I'm... um. I'm looking real quick. They had in the article a list of some of like what will work and what won't work. Aha! Here we go. Uh, so this is from IGN. Sony has revealed more details on how PlayStation 4 perifs and accessories will work with the PlayStation 5. And again, your DualShock 4 will not work with PS5 games. However... Specialty peripherals such as officially licensed racing wheels, arcade sticks, and flight sticks will work with PS5 games and supported PS4 games. So that's, you know, something good. Okay. Um, Platinum and gold wireless headsets as well as third-party headsets. Excuse me. Excuse me. um, That connect via USB port or audio jack will work on the PS5. Uh, the headset companion app is not compatible with the PS5. I guess there was a companion app with some of these headphones? Weird. I don't know. Who who knows? Um, again, the DualShock 4 wireless controller and those like licensed third-party ones will work for supported PS4 games. And that's kind of ominous there, too, where will what will be, you know, what is going to be considered supported. How many games are going to be moving over from the PS4 to PS5, you know? Anyway, that's a topic for another day. Um, <laughs> both PS Move motion controllers and PlayStation VR aim controller will work with supported PS VR games on the PS5. I think at this point... Oh, sorry, one more last detail. Um, the PS4 PlayStation camera will work with the PS5. If they play supported PS, again, supported games. So, long story short, the controller you've been playing with for a number of years, the the, the DualShock 4, won't work for PS5 games. They want you, you to use the new hotness, which is fine. It's a pretty it's a pretty controller. Thanks for trying to get paid. I get it. Yep, yep. I'm trying to get that money. It's what they've always done. And I think it's just everyone's a little more angry now because, you know, Xbox went a different direction. Mm-hmm. Which is awesome for my wallet thank you (laughs) xbox yes i'll say it too thank you xbox i appreciate you (laughs) it's it's one of those interesting things where you know you you just you think about those who can't afford to get two consoles you know they can only get one and so i think what's going to happen this you know what's going to happen this fall is the ps5 5 will be the number one seller hands down easy and i think the xbox series x will kind of have a steady console sale i think you know and again they're kind of it feels like they're bowing out they're not going to do the console wars anymore which thank goodness (laughs) thank goodness they're not doing it because i hate it so much (laughs) um but i you know i think they will do solid and you know my predictions will probably be crap depending on how much these things cost Fair enough. So anyway, that's 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 my little that's my little spiel <laughs> on the PS5. Besides, the Xbox controllers are look better instead Ooh, of wow. the DualShock. Shots fired. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, those those special edition P- DualShock controllers are just not great. <sighs> that's for another episode. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> another one entitled "Ryan is Right." Um, we will never have an episode called that. <laughs> I will go on strike. <laughs> You're like, we're on hiatus until you change your mind. Yep. Done. <laughs> but there's other there's other PS4 news. I guess it is PS4 news. PS4, PS... Well, PlayStation news. PlayStation news. That's so right. talking about like ex- 
Exclusivity. Yes. Exclusivity. Yes. How do you say that word? Exclu- Exclusiveness. Exclusiveness. Yes, that word. There it I is. Can't talk. It's been a long. Exclusiveness. That's a new word. We're making it up. So for those of you that were wanting to play the new Avengers game, uh, Sony just kind of upped the ante and. We get Spider-Man, but it's only with the PlayStation. That's right. That's right. Spider-Man will be a PlayStation exclusive for Square Enix's, or I guess Crystal Dynamics, since they're the one developing it, Mm -hmm. but for the Avengers game. And they announced a couple weeks ago that Hawkeye was going to be coming for free on all consoles, but Spider-Man is only going to be available on PlayStation, I think they said early 2021. Yeah. And it's going to be their take on Spider-Man. It's mm-hmm. not going to be like the one from Insomniac or the Miles Morales. It's going to be the one that'll fit their universe, which is, you know, it's fine. We need to have options. As long as it's a good option. Have we had a bad option for Spider-Man? Mm-hmm. Oh, ooh. Should mm-hmm. I not ask that? Mm-hmm. What was a bad option? I mean, some of those older... I think we can agree that Spider-Man 2, when it first came out, solid, solid game. But some of the other sequels and stuff. You say Spider Man too. We talking about like for the movie? Yeah, for the, yeah. The play for it was on. I think it was Nintendo sixty four. No, was it PlayStation one? It was based on the movie on the Spider Man two movie. Maybe PlayStation. 1? I'm talking back in the good Spider-Man old days. Three was PS two. Was it? Hold on. Please hold. Hold Dear on. Google, talk, answer our questions. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Spider Man two video game. I think it was so original. It says, so PlayStation Portable, PlayStation two, GameCube, and Nintendo DS, uh, Game Boy Advanced, mm. and Xbox original Xbox. And you think that was the last good one? No, 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 no. I was just oh. saying that was a good one. Okay. I was going to just do a blanket statement saying all the previous Spider-Man were terrible video games. Before that one. It, just before Insomniac's uh, Spider-Man. Really? I'm, that, that's why That's why I'm rephrasing it. Okay. That There were a couple nice little spots here there and there. because there but, was like Ultimate Spider-Man on the GameCube was fun. Oh, I did not play that. <laughs> See, you had all the consol- consoles. I didn't. Uh, Look at John. All oh, has it's got all the money. This is what happens when you consoles. have worked at like video game stores since you were like mm, in high school. True, very very I true. I had all the goodies. Oh, I'm jealous. Uh, I'm jealous. Don't be because I went broke. <laughs> like my paycheck. Don't worry just about went it. Right back to work. So I'm like, oh hey, we got the special edition in. I'm like, sweet mine. Yep, and you're like fighting fun. your coworkers. But come on, the discounts were okay. Not terrible. I mean, they were better when I worked at the video game in Georgia. Video game store in Georgia. Like, yeah. there was a better discount there. Like, even the trade values were better. And then you come uh-huh. out here to GameStop, and it's like, all right, that's cool. It's but, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Are you lucky? That Off topic. I'm just curious. Are you... Would you be lucky to get, like, 10% discount working at GameStop? I mean, depending. I don't want to throw them on the bus, but it was great for what it was. Okay. I don't want to talk specifics because I don't want them to come after me. Okay, so we're talking less than that. It just depends on what it was buying. Why are you, like, I, I want to know. I want the secrets. No! I, I want, can't give away secrets. I want the secrets of the video game industry. No. <laughs> well, let me let me say, it's the news is fine. It, it's a smart move by Sony because guaranteed they're going to sell more copies on PlayStation now. I mean, that made me want to buy the game even more. Yeah. I mean, they, they kind of went in that direction when the this weekend, I think, is the beta. And if you pre-order the game, PlayStation gets the beta first. Mm. The next weekend is Xbox. And then the following weekend... Oh, Xbox and PC. And then the following weekend is everybody gets to, gets to play the beta. So when are you going to pre-order? <sighs> Got money for me? Um, you take IOUs? That, does Xbox take IOUs um, or PlayStation take IOUs? That's that's the question. Yeah, <laughs> about that. Uh huh. We'll see. We'll see. I might have to, but you know, mess around and, and bug a Square Enix contact and see if they can give me something. Because <laughs> I want to try it. It, it yeah. is. It's, it's definitely going to be one of those games where I want to try to see if it's even going to be good. Um, no, but it, it's just again, you know. It feels like we've taken a big step forward when one of the big giant companies has become really consumer friendly. 
and then we're going backwards back to the console war days of you know oh you know back back in the day when xbox 360 got the you know all the the dlc for call of duty first and then that those rights switched over and then sony got them first you know it's just the i don't know it, it, it's smart business moves it just sucks for con, you know consumers who don't have that option to have both consoles touche but that's just me i don't know you seem excited i'm excited i just i like what i've seen from it yeah I'm also a big super hand, super hand, super hero, I, I, Superman. I was about to, wow, I, I can't I talk. thought you were about to say you were a big super handsome. And I, I, I was like, I was interested to see where this was going. I am big super handsome. That yes. is my superpower. Okay. And super Sona. I'm like, okay, keep um, it going. Hence, moving forward, just call me super handsome. Aha. S-H? Yeah. The big sh. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. 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 Sweet. <laughs> but in other video game news, yes, we have a release date for Battletoads. <sighs> August 20th. Yes! Now, I think it's going to be Game Pass. I hope it's Game Pass. I hope it's Game Pass. If not, then I'm going to give them my hard-earned dollars because when you give people money to make things, they will make more good things. Yes. So give them your money. And we've been asking for Battletoads for years. Yes, yes. And it looks even better than when we played it. Mm, the, the art style is just so good. Oh. Um, while you, why don't you tell us about our E3 experience? Because I'm going to look and see if it's going to be on Game Pass. Okay. Because I think it is, but I just want to be 100% sure. Like our experience, like when we played it? Heck yeah, man! Okay. I mean, it was really cool. I think we mentioned, we touched on this in one of the earlier episodes, but... I'm proud of our accomplishment, so I just want to bring it up repeatedly. We had an accomplishment? What did, pray tell are you talking about? Uh, excuse me? We beat the demo at E3 2019. Yeah, suckers. And that demo included a bike race. Yeah, and of those of you that have played Battletoads, you know the speeder bikes suck. Yes. They are unforgiving, and we beat the crap out of that. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. They changed... I'll say that they made... I think they made it, and maybe it was just the demo, for, you know, demo purposes, you know, mm -hmm. trying to show off the game. The, the respawn points were pretty generous, where the, the tactic, we were playing with another guy... And so the tactic that we had, we, we just, one person had to survive yes. at all times. So it didn't matter who survived, just one person had to survive because there was about a roughly five to seven second delay before you respawned in the race. So as long as one person stayed alive, <laughs> you got through. You got through it. Sounds like a piece of cake, right? Oh my gosh. It was, it was oh. just as hard as we remembered. Yes. Um, so August 20th, According to the Xbox website, it is, says coming soon to Game Pass. Okay. So not 100% sure if that means it's going to come to Game Pass on release date or not. I mean, even if it doesn't, I'm going to buy it. Yes. Like, I need that in my collection. Oh, heck yeah. They need all the money. And just, I'm looking at screenshots right now. It's so just beautiful. But to touch on, like, what you were saying, like, our experience playing the game, like, it was phenomenal. Like, the combat was updated, like, the graphics, like, it was everything I knew and loved about Battletoads, like, maxed out, like, ten times over. And, like, the characters, like, each had more personality, I feel like, instead yes. of, like, you know, on the original, they're, like, a slightly different hue color, but they had the <laughs> right. same attacks. Right. These guys have different attacks, different body styles, way more animated. I mean, as it should. It is a very cool animation style. Did you ever see the Battletoads cartoon? I did not. Really? Yeah. You didn't really miss much. Okay, As I'm, as I'm re reminiscing on it, it was it was weird. Instead of them just being like the Battletoads saving the princess and yeah. fighting with uh, the doctor or whatever against the evil queen, mm -hmm. they were like three nerdy dudes in high school and the princess... Like, they got sprayed with, like, this toad ooze stuff or whatever. Uh -huh. And, like, they were transformed like superheroes. And they would be, like, I think they would, like, put their hands together and be, like, let's get warty or let's get toady. And then they would turn into the battle toads. So, yeah, it was weird. Like, yeah, uh -huh. you're right to make that face. Okay. That's odd. That's why it didn't really last. Well, maybe I'll look on YouTube. I'm sure there's got to be a clip. I think somewhere. it was, like, a pilot. Like, it didn't even go, like, a full season. It was oh. just, like, that. Okay. Like, the origin story is what it was, and then that was it. Yuck. And even, like, the animation, like, feels really dated. <laughs> well, lucky for us, then, we got an actual decent game that's going to be coming out. Yes! It's going to be really good. Mm. 
<laughs> just imagining merch for that. Ooh. Like, Did they have merch? I don't know, but I want merch from it now because we didn't get our foam fingers. Yeah, I know. We we I think I think we hit the demo a little too um little too early. Yeah. Because then they started busting out um, foam fingers. I mean, we got our buttons and stuff. I'm still happy about that. Oh, yeah. That button's phenomenal. But other than that, like, I want more. Right? Like, give me some figures. Give me, right. like, Battletoads, Mask, or something. I don't know. I'm weird. That's right. Trick or treat. What's up? <laughs> give me candy. Anyway, Delala Studios, we love you guys. You guys are good peeps. We did get a, a round of applause for beating the game. Yes. Which, you know. It's nice when you get the stamp of approval from the developers. That's right. That's right. So, coming soon. We only got a few days. A few more days. A couple more weeks, I guess you can say. Um, I don't see any merch, big boy. Okay. But, I mean, I'm sure it's going to come out. I gotta I, I'm sure there's merch somewhere, but it, who knows? We can't find it. I guess I got to make my own custom Toad figures. Oh. How do you get to do that? I don't know. It just sounded good. Okay. That'd be nice. Hasbro, make some really nice uh, Battletoad figures. Yes. That'd be really cool. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> TBD. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, we've been playing some uh, a game that came out recently. came out last week called Grounded. We want to touch base on that a little bit. Yeah. Um, Grounded is, for those of you who don't know, it's a survival game from Obsidian Studios, and it's a work in progress, so it's a game preview, um, or early access on Steam. So, so it's very buggy. Very buggy, yeah, it's and it's very, like, early in the game. So, but it's, it's think Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, but a survival game. So, it's it's... They came out last week, and we played a little bit. I don't know. Do you want to start first? What do you want to... Yeah. What do you think about it so far? Um, I've enjoyed it. It definitely, you know, when it turns to night and you see those creepy, like, spider eyes coming your way, you might want to <sighs> run. Those I mean, spiders. We, we might have screamed like little girls here and there. Oh, my gosh. It just... Okay. So, I, ha I hate bugs. I really do. <laughs> I hate them. Um, obviously, spiders are way worse. So... First of all, shout out to Obsidian because they have a, in their accessibility menu, they have an option where you can make the spiders, like, less scary. So they're more, like, blobs, you know, like white blobs, basically, that are attacking you instead of the, the full-on detailed <laughs> wolf spider and and stuff like that. Less scary. Less scary. Much less scary. Um, and, and they're ginormous. They're just huge. So we set up our base. So let me let me let me preface this with with early access. You have basically two main missions that you do, and then they're like, "Oh, thank you for playing. This is a work in progress. Keep exploring. Keep doing that." There are some other side quests that you can get, but as as we finish the the last you know available main mission. There, it's basically you're at this lab, like this miniature lab inside a tree. And so, you know, I, being dumb, thought, hey, maybe we should build a base here. Doesn't that sound great? Well, just don't you worry. There's a lovely wolf spider that comes around the same time every single day. He's harmless. Oh, no, he is not harmless. <laughs> oh, no, he is a jerk. So, and he, you know, I found out this the hard way. He can fit himself in the underground lab to basically kill you. What? Yeah. Yeah. That's not fair. It's not fair, and it's disgusting. Because uh, you can see his, like, legs poking through, yeah. and his red eyes are like, uh. mm, 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 mm. it's nasty. It's can, so gross. Can we build, like, a barricade? We, uh, yes, we can, actually. Okay. So, <laughs> as you play the game, you unlock recipes, and then you start building, uh, you know, a, a base. You know, you can do a, a basic single floor base with walls, doors, you know, windows. I mean, I unlocked a recipe for a basketball hoop. So, you know, we can we can shoot shoot some hoops, I'm assuming. I should, like, can I dunk, like, a ladybug head on you or something? I hope so. Yeah, I was gonna say we'll just take a spider head and that'll be our our, oh, our ball. Um, that's our, our payback. Yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, you can unlock schematics for you know having like a two story. I mean, go online, Google search grounded, 
and you'll see a bunch of people and uh, basically what they've made so far has been incredible in terms of bases. So, I mean, we still have a long way to go because our weapons are a little weak and we have a wolf spider that we basically parked right next to that makes our life horrible. Mistakes were made. They were. They were. I We, we had our respawn point farther away and I have a, had a bunch of um, a bunch of supplies there, and it was a journey to get some of those supplies back. I haven't even gotten your supplies yet. Oh, man. Because I just, it's its too stressful. I just hope it saved all my progress, too. I hope so. Because if not, I'm a crack. Yeah, I hope so. No one wants to see that. No, no. But luckily, at least with this with this game, you know, if, if you have a bunch of things saved up, if you have weapons and armor and stuff saved up, you know, then you can just... I can make armor for you, mm -hmm. you know, out of the supplies I have. So, you know, our base is really good for, I, I think, getting supplies. It's been very nice. You know, there's lots of places to get flower petals and there's grubs and find places to get water, clean water, you know, acorn bits. So there, there's things that we can get, but it's still stressful. And I heard there's a rumor that there's another lab somewhere. Oh, man. So we, we have to do some exploring, which means we have to get ready to kill. I'm not ready. <laughs> I just want to know where the schematic is for a flamethrower. Ooh. Yeah. Can I get a flame sword? Sure. There's, um, you remember those mints that we walked by? Mm hmm Yeah. Apparently you could upgrade your hammer to break it open and get those mints and make like a really powerful weapon that has like max damage. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. I, I like that a lot. It, it's, it, there's parts of the game where you feel it's very relaxing. So, you know, for example, there's ladybugs walking around, there's ants walking around. Don't mess with the ants. You don't mess with the ants and they don't mess with you. It's great, but if you mess with an ant, ooh, baby. Here comes the army. Yes, if you, if you get them like one-on-one, -on -one, then it's fine. You can kill them and turn them into armor and stuff like that. But if you don't, then you're, you got some buddies, then you're just gonna get demolished and it's it's no fun. But- Remember uh, that time we stabbed a ladybug in the butt? I do remember that. And they killed us about 10 times. But we got revenge. We came back and killed it. We did. We did get revenge. And it was glorious, glorious revenge. Now we need to figure out what we want to do <laughs> <laughs> with those parts. Where where do you want to see where do you want to see the game go? Um it's hard to say. Like from what we've done and you know, this game is like massive, like potential wise, like with customization of like the your base and you know choosing wisely where you want your base mm -hmm. and the aspect of like you know what you kill you can eat or you can make armor and stuff like that i i guess one of the things that kind of bugs me is i wish there was more characters to choose from mm -hmm. yeah like i think i would like the possibility of having more than just like four people in a group yeah like, especially if you're going to try and, you know, wreck shop on, like, an army of ants or something. Or the wolf spiders. Ugh. Oh, Ugh. I, I also heard there's, like, an even worse spider. Oh, don't. I don't. Somewhere. I hate spiders. I know. Guys, we're big guys, but we don't like spiders. Disgusting. It's just creepy. Kill it with fire. Ugh. <laughs> My wife makes fun of me because every time there's, like, a bug, like, crawling from the inside, and outside into the house, like, I'm, I can't sit still. Like, I have to be like, kill it. Yep. Kill it. Even if it's just a fly. Like, oh, yeah. It just bug me. Mm. Like, yeah, it's nasty. And that is not a planned word. That didn't say bug me because of bugs. It just came out that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I would like to see... So, I, I think one thing I haven't seen yet... And let me let me, let me me scour online real quick while I'm rambling on. I, I haven't seen, unfortunately, like a roadmap. And I know the game just came out. So, it's really, you know, hard to expect them to come out with, you know, oh, this is what we got planned. This is it, this is it, this is it. But I would like to see, like, kind of just the direction of where they're gonna go. I'm sure there are um, more missions, kind of, you know, what? I mean, obviously you got shrunk somehow, right? Right. So you have to, you have to assume that you are going to find out why somehow um or can you become unshrunk uh, right right can you become unshrunk and then i don't know do does that open up a new area where you can shrink yourself down and mm -hmm. go somewhere else 
I think what we're going to get mostly is more recipes and enemies, just to kind of to start. Um, oh, I just thought of something. Yeah. Instant travel. That'd be nice. I don't know, though. I think it kind of takes away the, from the survival aspect. So as much as I want instant travel, because that would make things so much easier, Yes. Um, I, it may not be in the cards yet. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, that we could have gotten our supplies so much easier if we had that instant travel this <laughs> is true. option. And watch our luck as we would spawn on a, on a spider <laughs> and it w- <laughs> and then we'd just get destroyed and lose all our, ener- all our stuff. Anyway, besides the point. <laughs> so I think for me, I, I for whatever reason, I'm imagining that we will find... You know, maybe it's an add-on or maybe this is in the game and we haven't found it yet. But I'm assuming we're going to find bees of some kind. Ooh. So, I don't know, hornets, maybe some honeybees. You know, can maybe take the wings and, like, fly? Right. Or, like, a honeycomb or something like that that we can use to... Skateboard. A skateboard? Yeah. Okay. I guess, yeah, if you want to make a skateboard, that's to- <laughs> that's fine. Sorry, see, my brain is going to, like, what can we make? Like, that's just true. traveling around. No, that's true. That's true. So, well, I mean, so I think that's kind of, you know, something that we'll see um, in the future. And eventually, I'm sure they're going to have updates where we will know more of the story. And we'll have more idea of where to go. Right now we have the two main stories and then you can unlock little side missions from a little robot helper. Um, and that guy is is kind of funny. He's kind of goofy. <laughs> but, you know, more like fetch quests. You know, ki- grab me two grubs mm-hmm. or kill this spider. Go get this and I'll give you this reward. That's right. That's right. Which, I don't know, maybe we do need to do that just so we can get some, <laughs> you know, better ingredients and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I, I think, you know, I, I'll like it more if I have an idea of where the game's going to go. Uh, other than, otherwise, you know, it, it made some noise, you know, on, it, it was one of the top five downloaded games on Steam, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, there you go. Um, obviously on Game Pass for consoles, it was also high up there, okay. um, in terms of downloads. And, uh, on Twitch for a while, I think it was also top five, um, uh, streamed games during like the weekend that it came out. So overall, I think it's 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 a solid game that is just it's very early in development. So you know we've got to have to kind of wait and see. It's funny just you know talking about the early development, like just seeing some of thinking about some of the glitches that we would see. Like there were times where I thought you were doing like some emote, but you were glitching. Yes, like your legs were doing like some weird like river dance thing. Yeah. And I was like, are you... Oh, nope, it's a glitch. Yeah. Okay. I think I, I think I was floating for a while. They have a weird... Um, I don't... And I... Maybe it's not... Weird is not the right word. But you do jump, like, ridiculously high for being just this little person. You want to be like Link? I mean, it helps because, man, you can jump really high away yes. from the nasties. Don't take that away. I appreciate it. Yeah, that. yeah. I was just, I, it was kind of caught off guard. I'm like, oh, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's just lots of, lots and lots of recipes and things to make in terms of armor and bases and things like that. So eventually, if we can find a way to, you know, block, <laughs> I think that's the main thing too, being able to block um, the, the spider's attacks. You know, I mean, we'll you can block out. a little, but yeah. it's like two hits, and then it's like, okay, run. Yes, yeah, you have to block. I guess the timing, it's all about timing. So mm-hmm. if you time it perfectly, you can have a perfect block, then you can do it almost infinite as you're as you're destroying them. Um, another thing I do want to see, and maybe it's just because I didn't, I didn't understand the controls too well. Uh, um, I, I don't want to bring up the wheel in order to pick my weapon. I would love to just be able okay. to tap. Like, like select kind of thing right okay you know kind of like minecraft where you have the you know the square highlighted and you just hit the left bumper and it just kind of brings you over you know do 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 just to get to your item real quick i don't play minecraft so i don't know what you're talking about that's okay that's all right um you 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 can't be as cool as me <sighs> nope no nope. that's my goal in life though one day i want to be as cool as you. yes yes and of course the only way to do that is to play the minecraft I, I guess I'll never be as cool as you then. I know, I know. It's okay. It's all right. Um, go ahead and just let us know on social how much you agree with me, because obviously there's no way you would disagree with me. So 
It's it's fine. I'm just gonna keep telling myself that Minecraft is cool. Your kids love it, so that's yes, okay. they do, and millions of other little kids. <laughs> well, okay, and adults. There's adults and that adults. that love building these ridiculous <laughs> structures and building and towns and just cool stuff. I very, mean, very I play cool. Minecraft Dungeons. Does that count? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna count it. Sweet. So yeah, you're cool now. Way to go. Yay! <laughs> Dear diary, I am cool today. That's right. That's right. I don't have a diary. I'm just kidding. Maybe I do. Don't judge me. We won't judge too much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so Grounded should be on your list. And if we haven't said it before, we're going to say it again. Xbox Game Pass, if you have an Xbox, it is definitely worth the money. If you play a lot of multiplayer, then you want the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate because that will give you Game Pass for console, for PC, and give you Xbox Live, which is their, you know, paywall service where you have to pay to play multiplayer, basically. Which but is it's cool. worth it. It's worth it. $15 a month, and I have about uh, over 100 games on console easily and I could if I wanted to play PC games I could download a whole bunch of games on PC as well so I've thought about it yeah um I guess we can talk about that next since we're talking about multiplayer a little bit right um there was a rumor <laughs> lots of rumors it's been like a rumor week so <laughs> but it's just it's fun to talk about sometimes with these rumors so Xbox has been not secretly, but they've been taking away Xbox Live cards, prepaid cards, for long increments. So, for example, like you, as far as I know, a lot of people have posted this online. You can't buy a 12-month card right now. What? Or a 24-month card. Right. So, you know, wild speculation, Right. Oh, maybe this means that they're going to get rid of Xbox, you know, live. And then it'll just, multiplayer will be free. Yeah, right. Right. We're not I, that lucky. No, I, I don't think that's it. Um, <laughs> That would be amazing. I think that would, hands down for me, just, I, I, I would be ecstatic if that actually happened. And who knows, you know, one day that'd be nice. But again, they make a lot of money from it. So I don't see... <laughs> I don't see them getting rid of that. Um, more, more than likely, what's happening is they're getting get rid of these prepaid cards because people have been using them to take advantage of the, you know, sign up for Xbox, sign up for Game Pass uh, for the, the first month is a dollar. So is that deal still going? I, well, I think it is still going. Oh wow! Yeah. So. And, and Microsoft, thank you. <laughs> Don't come hunt me down because everyone else <laughs> have done it. So what happened was when I first signed up for Game Pass, uh, my first month was a dollar, right? However, they went ahead and they converted how many months I had left on my, pre, my prepaid Xbox Live card. Mm. And they basically gave me those months for free. And then as soon as that month went out, then I started paying the $15 a month for it. So I think the reason why they're taking these cards away is because they're trying to keep people from, you know, gaming the system. Like using it, it, yeah. Right. Like it's a known fact that you could put up to three years of Xbox Live on your account at a time. So a lot of people were buying those cards to get three years, then they'd convert to the Xbox Game Pass for a dollar, mm. and they would just get three years for free, Oh, basically. Dang, that is broken. Right. So, and, and I, I think, it, it sounds like, you're hearing from the executives that Game Pass is doing just fine. The, they're having record number engagement on all those games on there. They're seeing more and more people join Game Pass. They're seeing more systems being purchased. And I get that a lot of that does have to do with a pandemic and people being home and Wait, wanting some there's entertainment. There's Xboxes you can buy? There are Xboxes you can buy. I thought they were all gone. And well, maybe at your store. I, yeah, we can't keep anything in. No, no. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. So I do think, and again, the, the pandemic probably had the majority to do with it. But I think people are kind of coming around to the, the deal that you can get. You know what I mean? Like, you're a family. You have all your kids at home. What's going to be the best bang for your buck? And honestly, buying 
a console, an Xbox like One S, for example, that are usually not too expensive, mm-hmm. and just doing Game Pass. I mean, oh, th- yeah. that gives them so many options for games for the family. So, you know, they're they're doing well, and you know, they're not. <laughs> they've also talked about this a lot. The executives, where you know, this is obviously, <laughs> they even admit it. This is not some money making scheme. We we understand that, but we're. We're, we're more, you know, they keep telling us, don't worry about our bottom line. We're trying to make things more consumer friendly for you guys. So just stop complaining about it and enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I, that's that's kind of basically what they said. Um, Can to, we do that? I, I don't know. We got to find something to complain about, right? Online. But, but they're right. Like, who cares about their bottom line? If they can make it work, then let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy the fact that they're doing this. Right. You know, they, they Microsoft sells lots and lots of money on all their other electronics and computers and mm-hmm. Windows, you know, it, systems and things like that. So I think Xbox can afford to do this and... It seems like the the you know powers that be have blessed the Xbox executives and just granted them the freedom to do these things and it seems to be working really well. I'm so, happy. I know, I know. And hey, Grounded is on Xbox Game Pass, so if you wanna if you wanna play some Honey I Shrunk the Kids, then you can. It's just fun. I mean, yeah, you yeah. do stress with the spiders, but hey, it's just a good time. It is. Usually, I don't like survival games, and that one is just kind of one. I'm like, okay. I, I like this, you know? And it'll be fun to see where it goes. Man, Obsidian makes really good games. Grounded is good. Outer Outer World, I really like that one. That was a good one. Um, I still need to beat that. Yeah. It, and, and the fact that they're coming out with yet another RPG, you know, soon. <laughs> like, that is super cool. I, I think that Obsidian might be... Right now, they're making the argument that they are the best studio that that Xbox purchased <laughs> out of all of them. Hey. Just being able to crank out these games, but not only crank them out, but make them quality. Yeah. Like, it's good for them. Congratulations. You know, they're pretty awesome. Obsidian, by the way, just, you know, some of those developers were part of the Fallout franchise and helped make Fallout New Vegas, which is, you know, a cherished game. It's another classic very much so. Very much so. I suck at those games, though. They just make me angry. Dude, just put it on easy. No, because then I feel like I'm a chump. Well, you don't have to... They have, like, a, a meter on Fallout 4, so you don't have to put, like, the very easy. You can kind of put it in the middle or, like, a little bit lower than the middle. I know, but there's that competitive, like, gamer in me that's like, I want to challenge you, but then I get mad and don't touch it for, like, uh-huh. months. And, and see, like, you gotta... I'm complicated. Guys, it's okay. It's okay to put things on easy mode. It's okay. You know, we won't judge you for it. No, we won't. We won't. I like to put things on easy just so I can enjoy the, 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 the story, and then I go back and put it on, you know, whatever normal setting it's supposed to be on, <laughs> just so then I can get a little taste of what they want me to expect. But sometimes I just really like enjoying the story, you know. Ghost of Tsushima, for example. So, finally beat that. I know you're a ways away. I am a ways away. That's okay. That's all right. I finally beat it. I finally beat it. They, um, they, it was, it was kind of cool. Um, I read on, I think it was a GameSpot article, um, that they intentionally use the weather as sort of a way to gauge your honor and your dishonor. So the more times you use ghost tactics, you're going to hear more thunderstorms. Mm. Right? Like the stealth kills and stuff? Uh-huh. Yep. Stealth kills and, and you know, the dishonorable ways. I feel like that plays it, like how the story is going to play. Because isn't there like multiple endings depending on how you play? I think I read that somewhere. Uh, two endings. Um, but not... I don't know. It, it, it's basically, I will say this. My spoilers. Okay. Ding. Okay, there you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had a, a mark. So, spoiler, there are two possible endings, but the only change. If. It, ah, man, how do I say? It? I don't want to spoil it for you. That's the problem. I think it will matter if they make a second game, if they make a sequel. Okay. 
basically your end decision is basically what you've been deciding the whole entire game. Are you going to be an honorable samurai or are you going to be the ghost? And I'll kind of leave it at that. Okay. Because I don't want to spoil it. Fair enough. Okay. I, um, I like that. Is basically, after the decision you make, it's just different cutscenes, and you the world opens back up to you. And I don't know. I guess this is a minor spoiler, too. Ding! Minor spoiler! Um, <laughs> Plug your ears. <laughs> the, the, on the map, it does show all the Mongol territories on the map. So you can keep going. Oh. in your quest you know so which is kind of nice because then you know you don't have to run around to unfog the map you'll just know it right it just it it, it it shows you the places you need to go on the map screen for ghost it will tell you how many territories you've liberated mm. so it's it, it for each section of the of the island okay right so usually in the in the game you're right now you're gonna unlock that just by running uh taking the roads places um on your horse you're gonna run around you know whatever that's how you're finding out but after the game is quote unquote over you will be able to kind of finish up quests and stuff like that and, okay. and liberate so the island I don't have completely. To get too caught up in all the side quests now like I can go back and do it after I beat the game so the side quest that I recommend is the the supporting character side quests so so Masako for example um Sensei the the archer okay um where are you at again I'm kind of all over the place are you in act two or act one I'm in act two you're in act two I did a little bit with Sensei um trying to find his student haven't found her yet and then I just fought the spirit. Okay. Okay. Where I learned the what is that? I learned some new like ultimate attack. The heavenly wrath. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. I never used it. <laughs> it takes too much resolve. Oh, anyway, yeah. you'll find that out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um have you met the monk yet? I did meet the monk. Okay. So I've got his story. So I've got Good. like all of that for the side characters I've Excellent. just been doing, kind of like trying to build up my fame and my Excellent. armor and stuff. There's going to be a quest that I'll talk to you about. Okay. I, I Again, I won't spoil too much. I'll try not to. Okay. <laughs> so you know in Act 2, one of your things is you're asked to go get your family armor. Yeah, I was right. going to think about doing that one next. Okay, okay. Um, it's a long horse ride, just warning. Oh, I, yeah. Fair warning. Um, you're going to meet someone that will have a couple quests. Do those. Definitely do those before you finish Act 2. Okay. Okay? Because it kind of... Um, it opens up some stuff, some interesting story, and kind of gets gets you gets you in the heart a little bit. Okay. A little in bit. the feels? Yeah, right in the feels. Pretty, Just on a pretty side note, this game is really stuff. good storytelling. Very good storytelling. Um, yeah, I don't know if we mentioned that when we talked about it at first, our... our, our I don't know, partway impressions. Right. <laughs> Our review in progress. Yes. Now that I'm finished with the game, oh my goodness. It yeah, storytelling still is is one of the highlights of this game. It's super, super good. So you you're gonna enjoy it. Just yeah, understand it's you're gonna have a decision at the end of the game where you could be an honorable samurai or you can be the ghost. And it really doesn't change much. It's just kind of a question of, okay, if they do make a sequel to this, which I, you gotta think they're gonna make a sequel. As well as right? the game is doing, heck yeah. Right. It, it, you know, especially with some of the story that you're gonna get at the end of Act Two into Act Three. Okay. Um, there's there could be more story to be told. Ooh. So it's just you know, so I don't know what one is the quote unquote canon, you know, what is meant to be the ending, but mm-hmm. you just choose, you know. Yeah. I chose for the record, I chose to be a, a path basically to continue being the ghost. Okay. That's what that's what I my choosing did. So fair enough. Yeah. So again, you can be an honorable in this decision you make, you can be an honorable samurai or you can just accept that you're the ghost. So I accepted that the I'm choice the is yours. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. <laughs> I'm excited. I'll beat it eventually. Give me a couple weeks. Really, that much time? I don't know. Yeah, you need more time. 
daddy time. It's okay. You are enjoying it as it should be. The game should be enjoyed. And, you know, I just was, I had a lucky weekend. Where yeah, you did. Everyone was, was keeping busy and I'm just like, oh man, do I have time to play this? I have time to play this. Sweet. <laughs> so, the, another reason why I put it on easy mode is I can get through the game and have time to play it. Yeah. Because it would take me a lot longer if I was playing any other difficulty. <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait. That's right. That's exactly right. Well, anything else you wanted to bring up for no, the I episode? Think that's about it for our time. I mean, there's other things I always want to talk about, but there's never enough time. Never enough time. We try to keep this to be, you know, under an hour. Just in, for, for your guys' time's sake. Yeah, we don't want you guys to get tired of our voices. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Sorry, my brain just went blank. I Lack of sleep just hit me. <laughs> but as always, you can leave us a voicemail on our anchor.fm page. Um, follow us on Twitter at intercodepod, on our Facebook at Interco- Intercode Podcast, as well as our Instagram, um, all our socials. And we're on pretty much every podcast streaming service out there. And we, yeah. uh, we yeah. appreciate the support. Any feedback you can give us, anything you'd love to hear us talk about, we always appreciate that. And yeah, till next time, Brian, it's been fun, man. It's been fun. It's been fun. Next week, we'll talk about there's been some interesting wrestling things going on that we're going to talk about. Um, I'm trying to think of a good teaser to end this on. Um, We're just going to (laughs) say wrestling fight club. And just leave it there. Yes. But Bye. You gotta, but you gotta have you gotta have a qu- you gotta have a <laughs> you gotta have a question mark though. Wrestling Fight Club. No, no. I like Tune that, in. That. I already said bye. We're leaving it at that. Oh, okay. Cheers. Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> have a good week, guys. We'll see you next week. Later. Latest.